It's been said that carbing out when you're doing a low carb diet, i.e. eating, like spiking your blood sugar with carbohydrates is a good thing. Is it? Let's talk about it. Hey there, njroot22.com here. I'm testing out my mic because uh, I swear to God, I have like no luck with my technology here. Anyway, um, I need to get some better equipment, like a Rode mic. Anybody wants to like send a PayPal donation, uh, njroot22 at gmail.com. Please help me out. We're on a limited budget here. Anyway, um, back when I started low carb, um, long, long time ago, over 10 years ago, I read many articles that said that, oh yeah, every uh, week or two, you should spike your blood sugar by carbing out, you know, eating junk food, bread, uh, whatever it may be to, um, and, and the whole concept was to shock your system and it would reset and you'd even do even better. Now, over the decade that I've been low carb, you know, with my hits and misses, uh, I have to tell you, I don't believe that at all. I don't think it's good to shock your system into having carbs or at least spiking your blood sugar to the point where you get out of ketosis. Um, or it, every time I've done it, let me, let me just put it this way. Every time I've done it, let's say where I cheated, I remember like early in my uh, low carb days, maybe three years in, I had some white bread Italian hero, you know, with those fluffy, you know, hero rolls. I had, I had a big hero and I was so <clears throat> hungry and I ate it and I was like, uh, like in love. I was like uh, in bliss. What happened for the next three days, I was in pain. I felt like crap. Like my whole eating schedule was screwed up. It was just unpleasant. And then every other time I've done like a little cheat here and there, like in the last you know, two or three years, for example, I've had some popcorn. I don't feel good the next day. I've had, uh, I forget a couple of other things that I've cheated on, um, especially when the family brings in these uh, goddamn tasty looking Italian dishes and I don't go for the like bready things. I've never had a slice of pizza. I peel the cheese off the pizza sometimes and I get a little wheat on there by mistake. And I can tell, I can tell when I've eaten it. I don't even do that anymore. But I don't think carbing, I mean, like I think a lot of these other people, you said, oh, carbing out, carbing out and spiking your blood sugar and then going back down again is quote unquote good for your body. And it reminds your body that you had carbs, you know, I, I honestly don't, don't agree with that. I don't care what they say or what the reports or studies have said. It, let me give you an example. One time I had like a, a week where I, I, like this was early in my low carb days where I was making great progress and I, I had a week or a few days, three or four days where I, I carved out and I was like, screw this. It took me months, literally months, to get back on track again. It, it, it's such a roadblock to do something like that. I wouldn't recommend anybody say, oh, I can have a cheat once a week. You're, you're basically just, I, I truly think you're just setting yourself back and, and, and slowing your progress tremendously. You're like, re, you're like undoing the work that you've done. So I highly recommend, and I, I have to say one thing, th I, I had a video a few weeks ago about alcohol and I don't think alcohol makes a difference and that still is open for interpretation. Um, especially depending on the alcohol. If you drink in beer, forget about it. A watered down wine like I drink, it's, it's like two carbs uh, an hour or two, every two hours. So that, that's so insignificant on our blood sugar. It, does never, it never puts us into um, out of ketosis. Although alcohol impedes fat burning, it doesn't make you um, go into fat storing mode either. So that's it. What do you think?
If you like this video, please hit the like, the bell, or whatever, the subscribe, ding, 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 whatever. And uh, please help me get to a thousand subscribers. I'm at like 50 subscribers right now. So have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.